That was the original uh, Dragon Ball Z theme. Uh, I know that we're talking about Dragon Ball Super News, but there's something about the Dragon Ball Z theme that just... The original theme just gets me. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. It's definitely the nostalgia, though, from Cheese TV days. Now... The Tournament of Power ended, as we know. It's been a little while since we've seen a new episode of Dragon Ball Super. There hasn't been that much news coming out of the movie yet either. I mean, it's just basically that trailer that we got to see a, roughly a month ago. So hopefully we get to see something new soon. I know that there's a new you know, Dragon Ball Legends game still in the works, but Dragon Ball in general for the last couple of weeks has been pretty quiet, which is strange. It is strange. So, what we're going to do for this segment is we're going to talk about Dragon Ball, <clears throat> Dragon Ball's greatest fighters after the Tournament of Power. Now, after the Tournament of Power, sorry, before the Tournament of Power, there was a clear top ten characters uh, for the strongest warriors in the universe. Now, I decided let's redo this. Let's redo this. Let's take a, Let's go back and do the top ten strongest Dragon Ball super fighters that we know of. For after the Tournament of Power. Now, I'm not going to include Gods of Destructions and Angels and Kais because I'm going to be honest, it's going to be too much. It's too much. It's just going to be a list of angels, honestly. It's just going to be all the eight angels plus Beerus and another dra God of Destruction. So, and no, sorry, obviously um, the Grand Priest too. So it, it's going to be a pointless, um, and then Xeno. Actually, to be honest, it, this is going to be pretty pointless. So we're going to go only mortal fighters. These are going to be characters that aren't either Gods of Destruction, Kai's, or really um, Angels either. <clears throat> so, number 10. Now, number 10 could have been a lot of characters. It could have been a lot of people such as uh, Freezer. It could have been Gohan. It could have been Kale from Universe 6. It could have been Dicebo from Universe 11. It could have been Goku Black. It could have even been Omega Shenron or even Oob. Yes, I'm counting GT in this list. But the character that I feel is number 10, the 10th strongest character that we know of in the Dragon Ball world right now is Future Trunks. Now, Future Trunks, I mean, think about it. The guy has his rage form, which is essentially a combination of uh, his Ascended Super Saiyan transformation and Super Saiyan Blue. The guy's accessing God Kai and he's mixed it with an Ascended Super Saiyan form. Pretty freaking strong. And then he's got a sword that's essentially a, a spirit bomb. I don't know how he got that sword, but that's not the point. The point is he has all these abilities. Honestly, he had to be number 10. He had to be number 10. And, and that's just the way it is. Honestly, I don't care what you think. Now, number 9 is Hit. Hit was third. Hit was third before the Tournament of Power. And he's gone down to 9. His time skip's fantastic. And yes, he is a little stronger in the manga. He showed us a new technique as well. He is a tricky character and still is probably Universe 6's greatest unfused warrior. But overall, he's number 9 on the list. Then you've got the God of Destruction in training, Topo. Now, yes, he can pretty much fuse his body with Destruction Kai, which, yes, would be incredibly deadly in a battle where he can kill. Tournament of Power he couldn't kill. But he was still not strong enough to beat Vegeta. He was taken out by Vegeta, and Vegeta isn't even the strongest character. So, oh, and by the way, because Topo is sort of not a god of destruction, uh, he can be on this list. So Topo is at number eight. Then you've got number seven, and that's, well, the guy that defeated Topo in the Tournament Power, Vegeta. Now, Vegeta was able to master Super Saiyan Blue and even found a form beyond it, which is essentially his ascended Saiyan form where he, you know, called himself Super Vegeta mixed with Super Saiyan Blue. Pretty awesome transformation that we haven't got to see too much of, but it's actually a form where he has even technically surpassed Goku, as Goku can't really access Ultra Instinct at will. Then, number six is Universe 6's Fused Warrior. The fusion of Kale and Caulifla. Kefla. Uh, literally one of the most OP characters in the entire Tournament of Power. She had to be taken out by Goku's, well... Unmastered Ultra Instinct, and honestly, she was OP as shit. Um, so it'd be great to see her more when Dragon Ball Super returns. Then number five is a character that's probably going to surprise you a little bit. Number five is Jiren. Yes, the Universe 11 Pride Trooper, the guy that has surpassed Gods of Destructions, is at number five. Uh, that goes to show how strong the next four are 
obviously Goku come in. He mastered Ultra Instinct and he actually beat Jiren. In reality, he beat Jiren, but you know he didn't understand the time limit and the fact that his body couldn't sustain Ultra Instinct just yet was the reason why he didn't finish Jiren off. But overall, he is much stronger than Jiren. Then you've got number three. Now, now because we're doing fusions, we're going to add this one, Gogeta. Now, Gogeta is essentially Vegeta and Goku fused together. So he's got all the techniques of Vegeta and Goku, plus Super Saiyan 4 as well. So we haven't seen too much of Super Saiyan 4 and obviously, you know, Dragon Ball Super as GT's non-canon. But, you know, Gogeta's a... Super Saiyan 4 is a pretty OP character, but due to his time limit, he can't be any higher as, honestly, the second he transforms, he reduces his time that he can be a warrior for by quite a bit. Then you've got Fuse Zamasu at number 2. I mean, yes, he's technically a Kai. Yes, he's immortal, but he's also a Kai in training, just like Topo. And, well, I mean, the guy was still a race, so is he really immortal? I don't know. And he's essentially an angel at this point when he fuses with Goku Black, which is the fusion of Zamasu and Goku, so yes, there's two Zamasus and Goku in this fusion, so it's, it's kind of messed up, but it's a pretty OP transformation, and yeah, he should be number two, and then number one, come on, honestly, you probably thought about it, it was Vegeta, Vegeta doesn't have as much of a time limit as Gogeta, and he was able to completely destroy a few Zamasus, so it makes sense that he is at number one, so if you want to see more about the top 10 Dragon Ball Super Fighters of all time, make sure to check it out at nerdsforlife.com.